thank God for that powerful rendition from the choristers. We pray that God will continue to increase the anointing and grace in Jesus' name. Amen. And together we shall make heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, bigger than what people say. You are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, bigger than what people say. Oh, you are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are good. You are kind, you are bigger than what people say. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We bless your holy name. Indeed, you are bigger than every problem, mightier than any situation, because you are the almighty. All power in heaven and earth belong unto you. You are the great provider, the great physician. There is no problem you cannot solve. Because you are the God of all flesh, nothing is too difficult for you. We appreciate your mightiness. We appreciate your wholesomeness. And we appreciate especially your mercy that you have extended to us all. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for yet another day of this faith clinic. Thank you for what you are about to do in our life today. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. We surrender totally to you and ask the Holy Spirit that you have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. In salvation, in healing, Amen. in deliverance, Amen. in special miracles. Please have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Do that which only you can do in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for your son and daddy that you have been using for us. Praying for us consistently. Empower him in Jesus' name. Amen. Encourage him in Jesus' name. Amen. Continually let him be well with him and the entire family in Jesus' name. Amen. Please advance his ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, gracious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for yet another opportunity for faith clinic tonight. And we thank Daddy, our Father, and the Lord especially for the privilege are given to us to be watching this telecast through Doof Media. We pray that God will keep him for us in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to talk about supernatural breakthrough today. And we are taking our text from 2 Samuel chapter 2, 2nd Samuel, sorry, chapter 23, 15 to 17. 2nd Samuel 23, 15 to 17. And David launched and said, Oh, that one will give me drink of water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And three mighty men broke through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but pour it out unto the Lord. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore, he will not drink it. This thing did these three mighty men. As you have heard from the text, David was thirsty of water from Bethlehem. And there was war between Israel 
and the Philistine. And you cannot cross over to Bethlehem without passing through the garrison of the Philistine. But three mighty, mighty men, they broke through the bond of the enemies. They went and fetched the water and brought it to David. Tonight, as you listen to us, you will break through the bond of the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. And what they have stolen will be restored to you in Jesus' name. Amen. In our opening text here, the three mighty men sacrificed their life and they went to please David. And because of the enormous of that sacrifice, David could not drink the water again, but dedicated it to God. When you overcome a formidable obstacle, which is impossible for you practically to overcome by your strength, you have received a supernatural breakthrough. Such an obstacle can be financial, can be health issue, can be life issue, can be marital, or otherwise. For example, in 2 Samuel chapter 17, 40 to 45, 2 Samuel 17, 40 to 45. When David confronted the Goliath, like any other soldier of Israelites, he knew he could not win by his own power. It's a formidable enemy that no one wants to confront. And David said, you came to me with spear, with arrow, and with all the, your arms and ammunition. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of army of Israel, whom you divide. He knew quite well that confronting Goliath by his strength will fail. As a matter of fact, Saul, who was the king who led them, could not confront Goliath. But there's a God in heaven who can fight the battle you cannot fight and subdue every enemy that is impossible to you to subdue by your strength. May that God give you supernatural breakthrough today in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to pray the first prayer and say, Father, Father arise, today arise today and give me all round breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, arise today and give me all round breakthrough in Jesus' name. Arise today and give me an all round breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say, Father, Amen. silence every voice speaking against my breakthrough in Jesus' name. Silence. Father, silence every voice speaking Amen. against my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Every voice of the enemy speaking against my breakthrough, silence them in Jesus' name. Amen. As much as one is interested in experiencing breakthrough, there are hindrances to breakthrough. Number one, Satan the devil is number one obstacle against our breakthrough. This is because he always uh, opposes every plan of God for our lives. For example, Daniel chapter 10, 2 to 15. Daniel 10, 2 to 15. Daniel was seeking the face of God. He prayed and God answered. And sent an angel to give him the breakthrough of his prayer. But for 21 days, Satan obstructed him. Until God had to ask him, I've answered this man's prayer. And there is his prayer still coming to my hearing. He now sent another angel who rescued the former angel before Daniel could get his breakthrough. Whatever standing between you and your breakthrough, if it's Satan, the devil himself, God will deal with them in Jesus' name. Amen. Enemies can also stand against our breakthrough. You can see that in the life of David. David defeated Goliath. Instead of Saul rejoicing with him, he became his enemy. 
And he went craftily to say, go and tell David I want him to be my in-law. Because he was trying to kill David. And he said, I won't need this money. Only 200 skin, four skin of the Philistine. And it's not possible for David to get 200 four skin of the Philistine without killing them. So David as a warrior went to the camp of the Philistines, killed 200 men and brought his four skins. And when Saul discovered that he did not die in that exercise, because it's a foolish exercise anyway, too risky, too risky. He, but he did not die in it because God was with him. Saul became fearful. And he like God was really with David. The Bible says he became David's enemy continually. There are some people, they just become your enemy. Not because you offended them. It's out of jealousy, out of envy, or pure hatred. They don't just want anything good coming your way. The one who made David to have breakthrough, we grant you breakthrough over them in Jesus' name. Amen. This is an affliction, can also be an hindrance to breakthrough. You can see that life of the man of passing for 38 years in John chapter 5, 2 to 9, John 5, 2 to 9. He was there in one place. People are seeing him going and coming. They couldn't help him. He was just there until Jesus Christ came into the scene. He encountered the Lord Jesus Christ and he delivered him from the affliction. Every affliction, every sickness, every disease that has stagnated your, your progress and your joy, you will have breakthrough over them today in Jesus' name. Amen. Unexpected barrier can also create an hindrance for one's breakthrough. Unexpected barrier. In 2 Kings chapter 3, 4 to 24, 2 Kings 3, 4 to 24, three kings form an alliance, Israel, Judah, and Edom. They form an alliance to face the nation called Moab. So they knew by their number and their arm and ammunition, they will easily defeat the Moabites. But as they wanted to proceed, the king of Israel asked, which way do we take? And the king of Edom said, let's take the way of Edom. And as they were going, they have not reached the battlefront. They just discovered there was no water. No water for them to drink. No water for the animals. That means they will die of thirst before even reaching the battlefront. So that was an unexpected barrier. Thank God one of them asked, is there no prophet in Israel that can help us out? They went unto Elisha. And Elisha prayed for them because of Jehoshaphat and said, Dig a valley. There may be no water, but the valley shall be filled. And that's how they got water. And the same water became blood in the eyes of the Moabites. The same situation, the same instrument God used to satisfy their task, is the same instrument that God used to defeat their enemy. I say it to you today. Enemy that are pursuing your destiny, your joy, your peace. The same instrument God will use to give you breakthrough is the same instrument that will destroy them in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to pray and say, Father, Father. uproot every obstacle against my breakthrough in Jesus' name. Father, Father uproot every obstacle against my breakthrough in Jesus' name. Uproot every obstacle against my breakthrough. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Say, Father, amen. let every mountain on my way of progress became plain today in the name of Jesus. Every mountain in my way of progress, I command you to become plain now in the name of Jesus. Father, every mountain in my way of progress become plain now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, who needs a supernatural breakthrough. Someone who is confronted with a battle that he could not possibly win. In Second Chronicles chapter 20, 16 to 26, Joseph found himself in the midst of such a battle. 
The war that was confronting him was a war that you could never win. Because three nations came together against Jehoshaphat. And he said, there is no way I can have breakthrough in this battle. So he went to God. And when he called on God, God used something on this neighbor to take him out of his problem. He said, just gather the choristers, begin to worship me and praise me, and go to the battle. When the war front, with Corista singing and praising God. That, humanly speaking, is on this neighbor. But with God, all things are possible. God backing him up. As soon as they got to the battle front, God himself took over the battle. God will take over your battle in Jesus' name. Amen. The children, the three nations that came to confront Jehoshaphat, the two of them joined together to finish one nation. After they have seen the end of that one nation, the two the remaining, they face each other and they kill each other. So much there was no one that escaped. Your enemy will not escape judgment in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Say, Father, Father, please let the ground swallow all the instruments of the mighty in the name of Jesus. Father, let the ground let the swallow Father, every Father, instrument Father, of the mighty in the name of Jesus. Let the ground swallow every instrument of the mighty in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, please give me rest. From all my worries today in Jesus' name. Please give me rest from all my worries in the name of Jesus. You gave Joseph a rest from his worries. Give, give me rest from all my worries in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two, someone who needs help desperately is the one who needs supernatural breakthrough. There was a certain situation that one can find himself where nobody is able or capable of helping. At such a time, you feel completely hopeless and <laughs> may even become, life may become meaningless when somebody is helpless, when there is no hope anywhere. Such a person will become, life to him will become meaningless. That was the case of uh, Rachel. Genesis 31 to 24. Genesis 31 to 24. Jacob loved Rachel. Even to give himself, he could do it because he served seven extra years just because of the love he had for Rachel. But Rachel became barren because God shut her womb. Jacob could not open her womb. And except God I mean, opened the womb, no one can do it. I want to tell you, brethren, stop worrying yourself. Except God do it, no man can do it for you. So, <laughs> there's nothing anybody could do. And Rachel said, if I don't have a child, I will commit suicide. But thank God, God eventually gave her a breakthrough. Because God remember her and opened her womb. God will remember you today and will open your womb in Jesus' name. Amen. So when one pushed to the wall, you are pushed to the wall, you have contacted those supposed to be of help, they have failed or disappointed you or incapable of doing anything, then you need a supernatural breakthrough. We just want to pray one prayer and say, Father, Father the year is running out. Please send help to me speedily in the name of Jesus. The year is running out. Please send help to me speedily in the name of Jesus. This year is running out, Father. Please send help to me speedily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who needs supernatural breakthrough? Number three, someone who has done everything possible and there was no change. Sometimes you have find yourself in a situation that one is at a crossroad. You made all every effort, and but there's no solution. There are people who sacrifice their meager resources to acquire higher education, thinking that will help them to get a better job. Till today they are jobless. There are some who are very energetic, 
who, who can do so many things at the same time. They have gone into different kind of trading. They started with bread and break or bakery, and uh, it does not go. It didn't go well. They went to soap making. It didn't go well. They try another thing. Still, they back to square one. And there are some even they became adulterer because of barrenness of their wife. Say when they test another woman, something will come out. Instead of that, they became enemy of God by committing adultery. And there was no result. So you have done everything possible. Nothing changed. Some even left Nigeria to another country. And it's only a matter of shame that she, if such a person could not return. Because it was even worse over there than Nigeria here. That was the case of a woman of issue of blood. She ran from pillar to post. Did everything humanly possible to cut a breakthrough over the issue of blood in her life, spent all her resources until she became poor. Instead of getting solution, her matter became worse. But there's a God who can give you supernatural breakthrough. And that God we are going to pray to. Because he said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know I will have my breakthrough. That's what she did. And she had a breakthrough. You will have your breakthrough today in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, Father, Father, please put down every Jericho wall against my destiny in Jesus' name. Father, Father please put down every Jericho wall against my destiny in the name of Jesus. Put down every Jericho wall against my destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say, Father, Father, empower me empower to me. actualize my vision and dream in the name of Jesus. Father, Father please empower me to actualize my vision and dream in Jesus' name. Empower me to actualize my vision and dream in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Number four, who needs a breakthrough, a supernatural breakthrough? One whose case is serious and urgent. The case is so serious and at the same time urgent. In Genesis 19, 1 to 24, Genesis 19, 1 to 24, God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, but Abraham found favor and prayed through. And God said, well, I will spare if I can even get five people there or ten. But what later followed? When he got to that place, he could not get the number. But because of Abraham, he wanted to spare Lot and his family. And when the time came for the place to be destroyed, God asked Lot, get out with your family. Begin to go now. The Bible says he lingered. He lingered. And God had to force him out by holding his hand and practically drag him out of that destruction. That is how he had breakthrough against destruction. Not only that, in 2 Kings chapter 4, 1 to 4, 2 Kings 4, 1 to 4, we have the story of a widow who inherited debt from the late husband and creditor came that if you don't pay us, we are coming to collect, carry your two children. And there was no hope anymore, nowhere to run to. It is a matter that's so urgent that if could not get the money, it will lose, she will lose his sons. She ran to the Elisha, the prophet. And you know all the story, he was giving instruction to borrow vessel and everything, and he, she came back. Began to pour the oil until they were full, and he reported back to the Elisha. And Elisha said, okay, go and sell it, pay your debt, and be living comfortably thereafter. She got supernatural breakthrough against poverty, against lack, and against indebtedness. That God is still alive. Maybe you have suffered some terrible losses in your business, or you got loan to start the business, and the pandemic came in, and you are at a loss now. You don't even know how to settle that debt. The same God who helped this widow will help you out and you will have supernatural financial breakthrough 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, Father, please let my miracle not be delayed in the name of Jesus. Father, Father don't let my miracle be delayed in the name of Jesus. Don't let my miracle be delayed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, please deliver me before it is too late. In the name of Jesus, deliver me before it is too late. In the name of Jesus, deliver me before it is too late in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say, Father, please relocate me to the present side of destiny in Jesus' name. Please relocate me to the pleasant side of destiny in Jesus' name. Please relocate me to the pleasant side of destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. And number five, who needs supernatural breakthrough? When it is a matter of life and death, you need supernatural breakthrough. In Daniel chapter 2, 9 to 19, Daniel 2, 9 to 19. You see what happened there? Daniel was just living comfortably together with uh, his three friends when the king had a sound sleep and had a dream. By the time he woke up, he could not remember the dream. He called all the magicians, all the wise men in the land. Show me the dream and the interpretation. They said, all other came before you, including your father. Nobody have ever had this kind of a question from the wise man. He said, okay, you are joking. If you don't show me the dream and the interpretation, you are all dead. Unfortunately, Daniel was among the wise men in the land. And when he heard, he said, ah, why is he so urgent? He said, ah, it's a matter of life and death too. He's so urgent. He went to the king and said, can you give me a few days? He said, I know you want to take time and play. He said, okay, you can have it. He went and sought the Lord. And God gave, me, gave him breakthrough. And gave the revelation to him. He went back to the king and relayed both the dream and also the interpretation. What could have led to his death now led to his promotion and the promotion of his friend. The same God is alive. He will deliver you from power of death in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray and say, Father, Father, deliver me from the power of death in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from power of death in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from the power of death in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, Deliver my household Deliver my from household. every form of destruction in the name of Jesus. Father, in this year, deliver me and my household from every form of destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver my household from sudden destruction in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, you say, Father, please turn all my challenges to testimony. In the name of Jesus. Turn all my challenges to testimony from today. In the name of every challenge confronting me. Turn them to testimony. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What are the keys to supernatural breakthrough? Uh, Daddy used to tell us nothing goes for nothing. So if you want supernatural breakthrough, you have to pray, pay for it. How do you? Number one, persistent prayers. Daniel prayed for 21 days. According to Daniel chapter 10, 2 to 3. Persistent prayers. Number two, you need intensive worship. Act of Apostles 16, 25. Intensive worship. Paul and Silas in prison. Bound hand and leg. But they praise God. To the extent that God came down and there was earthquake and they had supernatural breakthrough. So you must be able to worship God intensively. Number three, complete obedience. Joshua is an example. Joshua is an example. Joshua was told, according to Joshua chapter 6, 14 to 15. Joshua 6, 14 to 15. They were confronted with the wall of Jericho. 
There was no way they could have their breakthrough. But supernaturally, God delivered them their breakthrough. How possible? He told them, go around the, the world for seven days. For the first six days, you did it once. And on the seventh day, you did it. You have to do it seven times. They were just landing the world shouting hallelujah first day until the sixth day nothing happened. But they obey God completely. Half obedience is disobedience. If you learn how to obey God completely, surely you will enjoy supernatural breakthrough. And there's, you must have unwavering faith in the Lord. Daniel chapter 3, 16 to 18. Daniel 3, 16 to 18. You must have unwavering faith in the Lord and trust him completely. The three Hebrews said, we know our God is able to deliver us. But if he did not even deliver us, let it be. We will not bow down to your idol. They threw them into the furnace and God gave them supernatural breakthrough out of the furnace. Instead of the fire killing them or consume them, it translated to their promotion and conviction of the king and the whole city. He will have supernatural breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. And never be weary. That's number five point. How to get your breakthrough. Never be weary in well doing. Abraham in Genesis 18, 4 to 5. Genesis 18, 4 to 5. He did not know that he was entertaining God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He just thought they were strangers and he entertained them. Could you believe that by that harm of generosity, the promise of 25 years now came to fulfillment? Every delay in your life shall be terminated today in Jesus' name. Amen. Learn how to be generous. So in conclusion, the greatest supernatural breakthrough is the breakthrough over sin and the power of sin. On the cross, Jesus destroyed the power of sin and made it available to you and I. For as many that want to have supernatural breakthrough, the starting point is to surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ and live a sinless life. That is easily possible. John chapter 1 verse 12. John 1 12 says, As many as receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Are you ready to receive him now? Do you want to become son and daughter of God? All you need to do is to bow down your head as I pray with you. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Has his blood to wash away your sin. If you are ready to do this, please bow down your head wherever you are. I'm going to pray with you. Father Almighty, you that can see everyone, those that are ready to surrender their life to you right now, Please receive them to yourself in Jesus' name. Amen. Forgive their sins in Jesus' name. Amen. Give them power to sin no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Power to serve you to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. And together we shall make heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. The, I mean, the rest of us, whatever problem you are brought in here today, the Lord Jesus Christ is here to answer you. And Daddy, our Father, the Lord, is praying for us in this program. Just focus on Christ. The same one who gave the other people you had their supernatural breakthrough We give you your own breakthrough today in Jesus' name. Amen. So can you let us pray? Father, we bless your name once again. Thank you for the word that has come out. Everyone that had desiring supernatural breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough, Physical breakthrough, financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough. Father, release supernatural breakthrough to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power that has hold them down, every situation that stagnated them, whatever confronting their head, Lord, give them supernatural breakthrough against them all in the name of Jesus. Amen. The one who is crying to you that year is ending, I need help. If I don't see this help, there, is no, there will be no way out for me. You are the helper of the helpless. 
Those who have been pushed to the world by situation and circumstances, send help to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, send help to them in the name Amen. of Jesus. And let every prayer we have offered today become testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. 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 You know our service is not concluded until we give our offering. So it is time now for us to give our offering. So if you are here or listening to us, lift up your offering as I pray for you. Father, I pray for all this, your children, as they lifted up their offering before you. Answer them today in Jesus' name. Amen. Give them supernatural financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have the best of the best in your hands. Give them the best financially in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, gracious Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.